Yo, what's up? Today, we will be making one of the best Iranian meals and probably traditional Iranian meals that you will find when you go to anywhere Iranian. <laughs> anywhere where there's a legitimate Iranian guy um, or girl. Uh, my friend Riza gave me this, actually prepared and made this meal for me and I literally could not stop thinking about it. I think I went and made it the next day and now I want to share it with you. Um, very simple, all you need to do is prep and give it some time and it will do the rest. So what we have to work with today are onions, potatoes, peppers, tomatoes, and a bit of cilantro for on top or coriander. Um, and the prize is lamb. This is the heart of the dish right here. Um, but what you're going to want to start with first is the onion. So let's get started. I have like five small onions here. Um, so I'm going to start cutting these and I'm going to lay this at the bottom of my big pot. You're going to need a big pot. Well, it depends how much you want to make. I'm making for four, so follow along, do the same. And these onions that you're going to cut, I cut off all the skins, the ends, and I kind of leave them big, like all our veggies today, you're going to want to keep more chunkier than like itty bitty fine. Um, but I mean, totally up to you, your preference. It's just not the Iranian way. No, actually I should have him making this meal, but it's more fun. I, I really like to do this, so. Okay, so I kind of just like quarter these onions. See, they're like this nice chunky onion. And you're just gonna lay these at the bottom. And repeat. Okay, we're back. So once you've covered the bottom of your pot with onions, the next step is you're gonna place your meat on top. So put that there. Um, and I was told to get lamb with the bone in and lots of fat. So that's what I got. I'll show you on here, okay? So there's the bone in there. Lots of fat. This is going to give your lamb amazing flavor. And I went ahead and salted it maybe like well, as soon as I bought it. So three or four hours ago. And pre-salting it kind of just really gets that flavor in there. Um, but it's not the end of the world if you just put salt on your lamb right now. If you actually do it a day before, that is really, that's gonna be some juicy lamb. But, totally fine if you salt it now. So then, the lamb is now on the onions. Whoa, hello, we have this little breeze coming in from outside. Um, next, I'm gonna wash my hands because I'll be cutting more bits. I'll be back. Um, next, you're gonna do your peppers and tomatoes. Okay, I think you're supposed to use a red bell pepper, but look at what I found at the market this morning. Literally, this is one of the movements, reasons I moved to France was to go for the food and to go to the markets every day, but I don't go every day, but probably once a week. Um, look at how fun these are. So I'm like, I had to get that. Like, look at this little tail right here. It's so cute and curly, like Matt's hair. Um, so these I'm just gonna put in whole because one, aesthetic reasons, they just look so pretty and I don't wanna chop them up. And two, um, with the time that they're gonna be in there for, it's, yeah, they're gonna be in there a while. So if they're really small, I don't want it to get like all mushy. I want them to have still some like bite to it. Wow, that was easy. Put the peppers on top of the meat. Next, tomatoes. And I got some big 
beautiful juicy tomatoes. I think Weezy uses red, maybe he just uses what he can find. Um, but I got some yellow ones and a red one. And I'm just gonna cut these into like quarters or thirds and place those on top or beside the peppers. And you can, if you can, take the little um, top off the tomato. I didn't do that for the peppers because it will be easy to identify where the top of the pepper is, so you don't need to eat that. Wow, <gasps> so pretty. Look at this, there's like a little, oh, can you see, pink center. Okay, and I'm just placing these in there. Guys, you're gonna wanna make this meal every night if your wallet can afford um, lamb every night. Yeah, these are some nice, big, juicy chunks. You can cut them smaller if you so wish. Actually, wow, I might not even do the second yellow one. Cause that's like quite full and I still have potatoes. So yeah, I'm gonna start at those big ones cause they were like three tomatoes in one. So I probably have like six small potatoes or tomatoes, wow. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Okay, then I have some potatoes. I have four here, um, but we'll see. And then these, you're just gonna also um, cut into biggish chunks like this and place those on top because those will get probably the softest. So we place those on top. Okay, do you know what? I might just do the three. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do the three. Or should I do four? Ah. Oh. No, I'll just do them all. I think it will fit. Je pense, je pense. I think je pense en français. Learning things. Guys, it's really good for your brain to learn things. You probably know this. Ah, and you're learning. Raining dish. Um, okay, and then the last step, you don't need to do this. I don't believe Riza did this. Um, I just chop up some cilantro. I had some, so I'm gonna add it. But if you don't have it, not the end of the world. But this is gonna like basically disappear into the dish, so you're, you're gonna forget about. You gotta read from putting that in. And voila, this is your. Iranian dinner and now this is probably like one of the most important steps is put a lid on it don't take it off at least till like two hours in um, and then we're gonna put it on top of the stove for I'd say at least three hours three to four hours um, that's what Reza says. And then it's gonna be on like low, low, medium. So if you're like, oven has like say 10 settings, you put it around three, that's a good setting. Um, yeah, and basically it's gonna start steaming in there and create this like liquidy, saucy, not soup, but like, and not gravy, but like this, just the best flavor I don't know, you're just gonna open it up and there's gonna be like soup in there or something. Anyways, I'm gonna go bring this to the stove because Jess's French kitchen is so French. Un petit. Key in the kitchen. Well, the other part of the kitchen. So I just put it on here and, oh, make sure you turn on the right one. <laughs> Okay, I have six settings, so I might go two and a half. Yeah, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. So I'll do two and a half, three. And after two hours, I might take a peek and just make sure everything's going okay. 
Um, yeah, but at the end of three hours, you're literally going to have one of the best meals of your life. And that's it. That took us all of like five minutes. Wow. And I asked Reza if you could do beef or pork or chicken or anything else. He said you could, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be the is your Iranian. <laughs> it's not going to be the Iranian meal. So lamb is the the meat of choice, but go ahead, experiment, and don't tell Riza I said you could do that. Enjoy!